Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Uh, what I got today is a review of the Blu-ray, the Criterion Blu-ray of uh, Mishima, A Life in Four Chapters. This is essentially a biopic of Yukio Mishima. Um, if you've seen my review on um, Yukio Mishima's patriotism, you'll you'll know the basic thing, but I'll, I'll, I'll go over it again. Essentially, in... Uh, 60s and 70s, Yukio Mishima was an author in Japan, and um, he ended up dying in the 70s as a result of seppuku, so he ended up going cutting his gut open. This was after he tried to stage a military coup, okay? So, sufficient to say he's an, an interesting person, really. Um, this movie is... It was directed by, what's his name, uh, Paul Schrader, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a really good flick. What, what it essentially does is it takes um, his, the historical events of the day Mishima died, and they follow that pretty much um, to the letter. Everything that's said is stuff that was actually said, you know, was reported to have been said in, um, you know, trial transcripts and everything. Um, everything he did that day is portrayed very accurately in this movie. What they, as, if they'd made that into a movie, though, it would have taken up maybe, what, 30, 45 minutes, perhaps? So what they've done is they've taken three of his novels... And those are uh, Kyoko's House, uh, Runaway Horses, and Temple of the Golden Pavilion. And they've essentially dramatized them, almost like almost like no plays, if you will. You know, um, and they've essentially used it almost to, I don't want to say make up his, his life, but, you know, to pad the story, I guess you could say. And they really work well. They're all phenomenally shot. This movie is a wonder to behold. It's beautiful. And it's just awesome. It's honestly awesome. It really is. Um, this particular release also, I... I only ever owned the old, I think it was a Warner Brothers DVD. I never picked up the Criterion DVD. I, I waited and got the Blu-ray. Uh, it looks phenomenal. Like anything Criterion does, it looks great. You know, and th this movie, let's, let's put it this way, if you have any interest in Yukio Mishima, you need to see this movie. Uh, if you have any interest in like um famous people who've killed themselves very strangely you need to see this movie it's a really good movie as for features this thing is i don't want to say loaded but it's pretty damn good it's got an uh, audio commentary by um um paul schrader and alan paul the producer it's got interviews, um, what else here, um, it's got, um, this, this, this part here, this is the, the special features part that really makes it worth it, and that's The Strange Case of Yukio Mishima, it's a documentary from, uh, 1985, a BBC documentary, and it's, like, pretty much an hour long, you know, and it's worth the price of admission right there, honestly. You know, and it comes with a booklet and everything. And, you know, the booklet talks about, like, the censorship of it. Like, for example, from what I know, this movie has never actually been released in Japan. It was filmed in Japan and everything. But, um, yeah, Mishima's widow didn't want it released. And as a result, I don't think it's ever been released. Which is a damn shame, because it's a really good movie. All in all, this movie... Is a complete S-Class film. I love it. The only thing that would have made this release better would have been, um... Yukio Mishima's only directing 
directing project, if you will, was the movie Patriotism, which I've put it, I've done a review for. I'll leave the link in the description. It's beautiful. It's a masterpiece, honestly. Uh, I always get the feeling that that was so, that release was supposed to be part of this Criterion release, you know. But I guess they they had enough enough features and enough uh, stuff to warrant giving it its own release. I wish that this had had that included. An HD version of Patriotism would have been magnificent. Honestly, that movie is a certified masterpiece. Yeah. So, yeah. Complete S-Class film, Mishima, Life in Four Chapters, by Paul Schrader. Uh, buy this movie. If anything I've said has even slightly interested you, buy this movie. Don't, don't question it, just go buy it. Um, hell, from what I know, I, th I think, I don't know if it's still on, Barnes & Noble were having, like, some sale on Criterions where you could get them cheap. Go there and pick it up. It's worth it, honestly. And this packaging is freaking awesome. Got there, like, the gold, like, leaf, I think. You got in black in the, in the center. You got here. Inside, the back, and of course, the book, which is actually a very sizable book, you know, and I'm actually, um, very, I'm very happy with the book, to say the least. Yeah, so, honestly, if, uh, if you're a fan of Mishima, see this movie. Hell, if you're not a fan of Mishima, see this movie. Great stuff. S-Class. Great flick. Yeah, so I'll try to find a trailer and uh, leave it in the description below, as well as my merch shop and my Patreon. If you feel like helping out the channel, would be appreciated. If not, that's fine too. Everything, you know, it's all good. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. See you next time.